Hello friends, this video on photosynthesis in higher plants part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about the reactions or the set of reactions which take place in the process of photosynthesis. Now there are two sets of, I mean broadly there are two types of reactions which take place in the process of photosynthesis. Light reactions where ATP synthesis and NADPH synthesis take place. Okay, before that, let me tell you one more thing. Now, in photosynthesis, what is our aim? Our aim is to synthesize sugar. So, we have to produce sugar from carbon dioxide. But that process, for that process to take place, we need energy. So, first, we have to generate that energy. So, energy is stored in the form of ATP molecules, right? ATP is adenosine triphosphate. So, there are two set of reactions which will take place. One is light reaction, the other one is dark reaction. So in the light reaction, we will produce the energy which is required for sugar synthesis. So whatever energy are produced in the light reaction in the form of ATP and NADPH, that will be utilized in the dark reaction to synthesize sugar. Clear? So two sets of reaction, light reaction, dark reaction. In light reaction, will provide the energy which is required for photosynthesis to take place and dark reaction the actual conversion of carbon dioxide into sugar will take place utilizing the energy which was produced during the light reaction. So first this is the light reaction here ATP synthesis and NADPH synthesis will take place. Now ATP is an adenosine drive triphosphate which is the energy currency of a cell and NADPH again is a very high rich is a molecule which is rich in energy. In fact, one NADPH can produce three ATP molecules. So you can understand how much energy they store. So in light reaction, we will produce this high energy molecules. So this reaction is called light reaction because they are directly dependent on light. This reaction can take place only in presence of light. Without light, they cannot happen. That is why they are called light reaction. Where do they occur? They occur in the thylakoids. Why they occur in the thylakoids? Because they are light driven. So they are, the light needs to be absorbed all the time for this reaction to take place. Now who will absorb the light? The pigment which is present in the green part. What is that pigment? Chlorophyll. So cl the purpose of chlorophyll is to absorb light. So where is chlorophyll present? In the previous slide I mentioned, yes, chlorophyll is present in the thylakoids. Now since chlorophyll is present in the thylakoids, so the light will be absorbed in the thylakoids. And that is why light reaction will take place in thylakoids. The second set of reaction that is the dark reaction. Now, as I said, this is the, these are the reaction where the actual sugar synthesis or the actual food preparation of plant will take place. So synthesis of sugar that is in this reaction, carbon dioxide will be reduced to glucose. But for this we need energy and this energy will come from this ATP and NADPH which is produced in the light reaction. And these dark reactions will occur in the stroma. So the light reaction will take place here and the dark reaction will take place here. So in, in, during the light reaction energy will be produced here. So this energy that is ATP and NADPH will be transferred to the stroma. And in the stroma they will be utilized to convert carbon dioxide into sugar. So sugar will be synthesized in stroma. So this is the overall process of photosynthesis. This is how the overall process of photosynthesis takes place. First the light reaction in presence of light in the thylakoids. Then the dark reaction in the stroma utilizing the energy which was produced during the light reaction. Now why are they called dark reactions? We will look at all those things later. So now how are we going to divide this lesson? So first we will talk only about the light reactions. What are the various ways by which the synthesis of ATP and synthesis of NADPH take place. So once we complete our discussion on light reactions, then we will start with dark reactions. Now before, even before we start talking about light reactions and dark reactions, we should talk about the pigments. We should talk about pigments like chlorophyll. Because 
since that time i have been telling you that chlorophyll is a pigment which is present in the thylakoids of the chloroplast which help to absorb light but we should know some more detail about these pigments is chlorophyll the only pigment which is present in green plants or there are some other pigments also which are present in a plant so let us spend some time talking about the pigments once we are clear with the knowledge on pigments then we will talk about light reactions followed by dark reactions Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.